Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei channel. In this video, we're going to build this organic wipe transition in HitFilm Express. A while ago, I was watching a tutorial in After Effects, and I saw them do, as part of that tutorial, this little trick, and I thought, man, I, this is pretty sweet, and I think I can do this in HitFilm Express, and it would really work well. So whenever I do a, a organic sort of transition, what I do is I start with a new plane in a composite shot, and then I've, I drop a fractal noise on it. And then I open up the appearance and I ramp up the exposure and I drop the offset down. So I would start with it being completely black. And then at the end of the transition, I would make it completely white. Okay. So now it's sort of organically, uh, you know, transitioning from one to another. And I might add like a threshold effect here. Uh, and that effect would basically make sure that uh, it is completely, you know, either white or black, all right, and there's nothing in between. Uh, and then, of course, you'd throw a demult key on there, and that would finish it off, okay? So this is, this is just organic all over the place, and it works great. But what if you wanted it to come from one side to the other or top to bottom, or if you wanted it to sort of organically grow... Uh, from outside to in or inside to out, that sort of a thing. How would you do that? Before we get into that, if you like this kind of video, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell icon for notifications. You can get videos like this every week. All right. Well, here's what you'll do. You'll start again with a fractal noise. And let me just reset it. Um, but then instead of playing with the exposure and offset within the fractal noise, itself, what you do is you create a grade layer and then search for the exposure effect, dropping it in the grade layer. And that has an exposure and offset itself. So now I can up that to the max, the exposure. And again, I can drop this down to where it's completely black, for example, maybe set a keyframe and then move forward in my transition and then go until it's completely white. Okay, so now I have the exact same thing that I had before, except for the fact that this is in its own layer, which means that I can add other layers underneath it besides the fractal noise, right? I would still probably add a threshold effect and I would still probably add the demult key. So now I have exactly what I had before, but now what this allows me to do is it allows me to add more layers underneath. So for instance, uh, let me just turn those off for a second and let me add another plane and let me add a color gradient effect to that plane. So now let's say for instance, I want it to go from left to right. Well, then I would have the whiter part over here and the darker part over here. Okay. And that needs to go below both of those grades. What I would want to do from here is simply take the opacity and drop it down a little bit. Okay, it doesn't have to come down much, but it's enough that it sort of is crossing over this way. Okay, now if it is at full strength and I turn both of these back on, then you can see that that is just coming across like a wipe. But if I start dropping that opacity, then it begins to take on the characteristics of the fractal noise, which is underneath it. And depending on how much of that I want will depend on what I make that opacity. But basically, this creates a wiping, organic sort of wiping movement here, which is really cool. And of course, you can adjust the seed of the... Um, fractal noise you can adjust you know the the appearance of the exposure and the offset to make it a little bit more or a little bit less kind of a thing uh, and and you can essentially create your own everything with regards to that so you can make a bunch of these on your own again if i change the color gradient to say for example from being 
from left to right. Instead, let's say that I made it centered and then I used a radial gradient. Then when I go to turn those back on, it will now go from the outside towards the in. Let's just say I want to use that, okay? And so what I might do is just grab all of those, right click and make it into a composite shot, calling it the wipe. Okay, so I can use this wipe now to create a transition between two videos. So I'm just going to grab these two videos and drop them in. The first video is of the house here, and then the second video is of this pond of fish. So what I would do is add a set matte effect to the house video, the one that's on top. And of course, I would set that sourcing the wipe layer. And you can see that there it is. And if I wanted it to actually wipe from the house to the uh, video underneath at the pond, then I would go ahead and make this a subtract. And if I wanted it to wipe the other direction, then I would leave it as replace. Uh, and, and, and that's it. Everything else from there is just details on how you would make that happen. So if you have any questions about how to create your own organic transition wipes, uh, please leave them in the comments below. And if you know anyone who's interested in this kind of a tutorial, please let them know. Thanks for watching.